Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pooja, your own physiology faculty at Cerebellum. And today I'm uh, announcing it with the immense pleasure that we have Dr. Subhaditya Vasu, who cracked the INICT May 2025 exam with an immensely you know, good rank of 144. So congratulations, Dr. Subhaditya. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here interacting with you. Um, I uh, owe my success uh, to my parents, my brother, uh, my friends, uh, my uh, seniors in college, as well as uh, the deep teachers of Cerebellum Academy. So, a very warm welcome once again. And uh, let me know uh, that when you started preparing, how you started preparing, were you a very sincere student in the MBBS from the first year itself or midway through you started? Um, uh, I've done my MBBS from uh, uh, Medical College, Kolkata, batch of 2018. Uh, I was an uh, average student. I mean, I'm not a student who used to get uh, gold medals in uh, college. So uh, basically, I started watching main videos during lockdown. Uh, that was in the middle of my second and third year. But uh, I actually lost track in the middle because uh, when my internship started, which was quite hectic. And then I again started preparing uh, after my internship ended. So how you started preparing, like uh, what plan you followed, like you used to use uh, notes, you used to watch some videos, what you used to do? Uh, so I had made uh, handwritten notes from main videos. And so after internship, what I did was I uh, started to concise them. I started to look at uh, PYQs. So I know that what are the important topics. And then uh, accordingly, I used to uh, concise the notes. And apart from that, uh, I have used uh, BTR by Zainab Ma'am uh, to help me uh, remember all the volatile information for the before the exam. And also, I have also used uh, the uh, marathon lectures, which were a, a boon for me right before the exam. And uh, what about the questions? Are you used to practice the question PYQ, GTs, ENDs, all these questions? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, the exam is not only about your knowledge, it's also about your MCQ solving ability. So I used to solve, uh, in the beginning, I used to solve the late night uh, PYQ modules. So to get a hang of uh, the different uh, questions, and it also has some uh, really old uh, PYQs as well as from FMG, because FMG questions are something that we often uh, miss out. So, and uh, apart from that, I used to uh, religiously uh, do the BTR END program, uh, the questions that were said there. And I've also given uh, one or two uh, mock GTs before the exam. All right. So, you were practicing the questions thoroughly. And uh, do you feel there is a, a difference in the pattern of NEET and INI and uh, especially the students of, uh, you know, the government medical colleges in India or let's say who are not from AIMS, they are actually having that fear that whether this exam is doable or not? Um, I think there is a, a considerable difference in the level of preparation and mindset uh, that is required to crack both these exams. Uh, so firstly, for INISET, I think uh, aspirants tend to have more of a mental block that uh, this exam is not for me. I'll, you know, I'll just uh, give it as a mock GT. I think uh, it is first. The first step to cracking an exam is to believe that it is doable. And uh, in terms of the approach, uh, NEET PG, I have uh, seen that it focuses more on the final year subjects, the clinical core, whereas INISET is more focused on your basics, your first and second year foundational subjects, which we also saw in uh, this year's uh, paper. And uh, need, in need, uh, the uh, chances of uh, PYQ getting repeated is actually pretty less. But in INI set, you will see that the same topics get repeated year after year. All right, so topics are the same, as we say, but they, uh, you know, they check your knowledge in depth, questions. logic, yeah. yeah. So the pattern and the, uh, you can say the asking types are going to change. Let's say uh, the question previously were asked as a statement question or a clinical based question. Now they are asking as an image based question, yeah. but the topics will be repeated. Yes. Yeah. Just like this year, they asked a lot of multiple choice, correct 
questions. So, uh, what about the time management uh, in the exams? How you used to, you know, practice uh, that? Uh, time management is a bit of a problem that I faced uh, in any set, not in the neat uh, mocks. That's because uh, the questions do require you to think as well as the time per question is less than one minute. Uh, what I used to do was uh, I used to devote the first uh, 30 minutes or uh, 35 minutes maximum to uh, doing the uh, solving the questions. And in the last 10 minutes of the set, I used to review. So in review, uh, what I used to do was uh, I used to just check the first line of the question, the last line and the option that I've marked. So that's that's the way I manage my time. Yeah, and you also mentioned one thing that they, uh, INICT usually ask the multiple, you know, what are the, yeah. which one of the following are correct. So they will give the option like one, two, one, two, three, only one. So that also takes a lot of, you know, time. Definitely, so definitely. So that's uh, another thing I would like to mention. The, this is an advantage of INICT is you get a rough pen and paper. So for solving these kind of questions, the rough pen and paper really helps. Even in match the following, so just I mean like imaginary imagining that you are drawing lines on the screen instead of that if you write it it's it takes a lot less time to solve. So throughout the preparation, uh, tell me when you used to get stressed, what you used to do? What was your support system at that time? Uh, I used to uh, make it a habit to uh, do at least uh, thirty minutes of jogging every day. Um, I was actually sitting at home for the last six months. I mean, I had a house stuffship job, which I quit uh, after my November INISET exam to prepare full time. Uh, so, yeah, there were days that uh, I used to get a bit depressed. So uh, I used to listen to songs. Uh, I, mean, I mean, songs always elevate your mood uh, when you're feeling low. So, yeah, I, even in uh, before the exams, I uh, I mean, uh, right before the exams, many people uh, revise their uh, volatile stuff. I used to listen to songs so that I mean, just to acclim acclimatize myself to the exam environment so that I don't get stressed. I don't make any silly mistakes in the exam. So basically, you focused on the mindset, I would say. Yeah. yeah. All right. So and uh, also, I mean, I was a quizzer during my MBBS days, so that also helped me kind of in uh, managing time, uh, ruling out options. Uh, yeah. All right. That, that's uh, something a new uh, corner we got there. And tell me, what is your plan ahead? What is your favorite subject, and uh, where you are? You know, uh, you are leaning towards that you will take that subject most probably. Uh, so I'm now currently I'm in a, I'm in a dilemma whether to uh, take a subject via INISET or to prepare for NEET again. Uh, my primary aim was to uh, take take up radiology, uh, which is the chances of that are slim now. So I'm considering my plan B. Uh, let's see what happens in the future. I'll wait till my uh, NEET result. <laughs> All right. Now, one more question. Usually, students are uh, fearful of giving GTs because once they get a bad rank, so they feel like next time if I get a bad rank, I'll lose my confidence also. So do you used to get a good rank from the initial time itself or you gradually improved? Not at all. I mean, uh, I remember the first GT I think I gave was during my internship. Uh, in that, I had like maybe 100 correct questions. Uh, yeah, so from there, after uh, when I started doing BTR, I started uh, concising my notes. Slowly, slowly, the rank started to improve. My The score improved from, it went to 120, 130. Then I was uh, stuck between the 130 to 140 range for a very long time. Uh, so at that point, um, I mean, uh, I had to go back, review my mistakes. Then I have to went back to my notes to see what else can I add, any recent updates that I can I could find. So that's how uh, then I could broke through that uh, 130 to 140 barrier. I think that's a huge barrier for many students. I didn't uh, I didn't get uh, stressed too much about uh, the plateauing in GT uh, because uh, yeah I I used to I mean I used to believe that uh, I will uh, crack it in eventually. <laughs> So I, I feel like your positive mindset and consistency that had paid off, right? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always good good to have a positive mindset. I mean, so yeah, there are sometimes uh, things which are seem impossible. I mean, I never expected uh, to get such a rank, very honestly, because um, I mean, uh, the GT scores or marks that I were getting even before the exam, uh, this was like the best GT rank that I've got. So that's what. Um, I think uh, as the BF tagline of BTR is "Dhurita uh, Rakto," but there's also another full form which is "Belief to Rakto." So belief matters. I think you have to be your own uh, uh, critic. Uh, you have to be honest with yourself, and uh, that's how you can uh, improve slowly with every day. Consistent efforts matter a lot. So, Dr. Subhaditya, before uh, finishing this up, any last advice that you want to give to your juniors or the students who are watching uh, this uh, interview? Um, my advice would be to uh, work in silence. Uh, don't uh, uh, beat too, uh, too much that uh, about what you're doing. Uh, surround yourself with uh, positive minded people don't uh, have any toxic influences who will always uh, uh, insult you or let you down um, i was very uh, fortunate to uh, be a part of this college which has produced rankers in the past in entrances and also we are which has a very good uh, senior junior dynamic any time i used to get stuck anywhere i used to call up my seniors in the middle of the night I used to ask them, what do I do next? So any anytime, if anyone wants to uh, call me or message me, uh, I will be available. Uh, yeah, and um, don't get too worried, much worried about your GT ranks. I think everything will work out for the best in the end. All right. So with that being said, Dr. Subhaditya, congratulations once again for the wonderful, wonderful rank and enjoy this moment to the fullest. Thank you so much.